we saw a reaction from inside uh, the stadium there as Dak was carted off. How would you describe the emotion that you saw in the stadium, not only from the players and coaches, but from the fans as well? Well, you know, Michael, when he, when he first went down and people saw him on the ground sitting there holding his leg up and obviously the right foot or ankle twisted the wrong way in a grotesque manner and Dak unable to get up, uh, the stadium with 25,000 people, a 90,000-seat stadium limited because of COVID to 25,000 people, it was as if there was nobody in the building. It was that quiet. And when uh, players embraced him and, he, you know, he's biting on a towel, I assume to manage the pain as he was leaving, and he, he held his fist up as he was going out uh, on the cart, uh, up the tunnel, and, you know, he was cheered like 90,000 people were in the stadium. Uh, so it went from a sense of true emptiness here to one where it seemed like there must be a capacity crowd somehow in attendance. But obviously we don't know how serious the injury is, but the circumstantial evidence suggests uh, that it's a really significant injury given that he was immediately taken from the locker room to the hospital. That's not a normal protocol for even a player uh, who suffers a serious ACL knee injury that cost him the season. Uh, but I think, like you said, the picture of his brother, Tad, posted uh, on the Twitter account of the two of them at the hospital uh, and Dak smiling, I think, will alleviate uh, some of the immediate concern about how significant this injury truly proves to be. Well, let's talk about the quarterback position going forward because the game still had to be played as this one was played. Andy Dalton comes on in relief. Cowboys get the victory there with a the last-second field goal. A 10-year veteran uh, in the NFL and the Dallas squad brought him in for insurance in case something like this happened to their starter in Dak Prescott. Uh, so far this season, Ed, based on the people you've spoken to, what type of uh, relationship and feeling does Dalton have with his new squad thus far? I mean, you got to keep in mind that Dak Prescott is the undisputed leader of this franchise. It has been since he was a rookie in 2016 and replaced Tony Romo and won the locker room and the coaching staff over to the point that despite holding all of the career passing records in Cowboys history, Romo never got a meaningful chance to retake the field. Uh, so he's that kind of uh, leader on this football team. They are fortunate that they took the position seriously and backed up Dak Prescott with a veteran quarterback uh, like Andy Dalton, who has extensive experience as a starting quarterback. In fact, today was only the second time in his career he's come in and played uh, as a backup with a game already underway. Uh, you know, Mike McCarthy has put an awful lot on Dak Prescott. They've been throwing the football on average 50 times a game playing from behind. Uh, he doesn't want to play that way. Dak Prescott allowed them to play a very up-tempo style. Uh, you know, McCarthy said his philosophy is I want to score as many as I can, as fast as I can. I would suggest that, that with Andy Dalton playing, despite the talent they have at wide receiver and running back, you know, they're going to have to slow things down and play in a more, I don't know, orthodox manner, more in the, in, in the manner we've seen them play, trying to control the game and shorten the game and control the score and protect their defense with Andy Dalton not being able to make the explosive plays like Dak Prescott can. You know, Ed, unfortunately for the Cowboys, Dak Prescott's injury is just one of many so far this season. We heard Mike McCarthy early talking about Tristan Hill, who went down in this injury, also seemed to be very serious of nature. You can go all the way back to training camp, Gerald McCoy, Sean Lee. I mean, the list goes on and on. What type of strain does this put on the Cowboys' depth and also the front office to try to make some moves to shore up these holes that still try to win this division? Well, you know, Stephen Jones will tell you that acquiring personnel and improving the roster is a 365-day-a-year proposition. Uh, the reality of this of the situation here is they have they went into this game with seven starting players already on injured reserve. Now that doesn't mean what it used to. Players can come back after uh, missing a minimum of three games, and we've seen some Cowboys players start to return. But remember, they went into this game without both their starting tackles, uh, Lael Collins and Tyron Smith. They went into the game without their starting center. They started Tyler Biedras, their uh, fourth-round draft pick. So, yeah, there's a lot of strain in terms of personnel on the offensive side of the ball in particular, and any weakness in the offensive line is probably going to affect Andy Dalton far more than it does Dak Prescott because Prescott obviously uh, is a very mobile player. He's strong in the pocket. Uh, Dalton can move around, but he's a classic drop-back pocket passer, whereas I think Dak Prescott brings a lot more athleticism uh, and potential for off-schedule plays to the offense than does Andy Dalton. 